Hello Leo, this is Tanya from Sarva Yoga and I help you navigate your life. Today it's time for your weekly forecast from the 8th to the 15th of November. As usual, I'm gonna do first some Palo Santo smudging to cleanse the air, but today I do something a little different. I shuffle three different decks for three different topics, which will be life in general, love and money. Now let's start, have fun! Leo, today we are going to shuffle the cards for life, love and money. Uh, for life I will take the Light Seas Tarot, for love the Queen of the Moon Oracle and for money the Esther Hicks Money Cards. But first let me cleanse the air with a little Palo Santo smudging. Let's start with life and we are going to do it for Leo's for the week from November 8th to 15th. Angels and spirit guides, please let me know the right information for us Leo's. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and the strength card jumps right out. <laughs> the Leo card jumps out right as I say, please give me the information for Leo with the Ace of Cups and the Six of Wands. Now, it couldn't get any better. So obviously we are very, very lucky <laughs> in the week from November 8th to 15th. Then we're going to look at love. For those of you who are into love or who are trying to get some information about their love and relationship life, we're going to ask the Oracle of the Moon. I like these cards a lot and it's brand new. So Leo's are the first ones who get to shuffle with this deck. Please angels and spirit guides, give me the right information for love for, ooh, 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 for Leo's for November 8th to 15th, please. November 8th to 15th for Leo's love information, please. Mm -hmm. This one sticks out, so it wants to come. Ooh! <laughs> Very interesting darkness. <laughs> Many interesting things can happen in the darkness, I'm just saying that. <laughs> so now we're gonna shuffle the cards for money. <laughs> I just have to laugh. Love, darkness. <laughs> Angels and spirit guides, please give me the information for money for Leo's from November 8th to 15th, please. November 8th to 15th. Leo, money, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. A bit tough to shuffle, so maybe there is a little blockage in the money. Ah, there we go. Okay. Ooh, it's my job to create a life of joy for me. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, Leos, we're done shuffling. Let's go right into your reading. For the money, we have this beautiful picture here, which is talking about growth. So you can see that uh, whatever you are creating, um, also with your words, because this is growing from her mouth, what you're creating with your words will be fruitful and will be blooming if you use the right words. So it says, it's my job to create a life of joy for myself. And on the back side, the text, it talks about um, that you should mainly focus on on feeling joy in what you do and not so much be focused on the outcome or what you want to gain from it. Rather stay in the moment, stay in the now, enjoy the, the creation process, enjoy the way towards the aim rather than the aim itself. 
So this is talking about really creating um, experience for your life. So oftentimes it's not about gaining something. It's just about having a new experience, finding out something about yourself. Even if it's just in a conversation with someone else where you can see, wow, I have never seen that from this side. Yeah. So this is also where you learn and where you develop your skills. So uh, this is a very fruitful and a time of growth for us Leos. So I guess in this week, a lot of positive things can happen. So maybe there's something coming in where you say, wow, this, this is the fruit. This is where finally the flower that I have planted is um, opening up and I can see the full beauty of the flower. So maybe as this is coming from her mouth maybe you have been communicating in the past and now you can see the answer so maybe you have been writing an application and now the answer is coming back that you are invited for an application interview this is just an example okay so it's about creating with your words thinking the right words talking, taking the right words. This is about communication. So obviously this week is good for any form of communication. Maybe you have um, a kind of negotiation about a contract. Maybe it's a work contract. Maybe it's a creative contract where you can use the right words and you will find the right words in this week because it's a very positive card. Uh, in order to get the best outcome for both sides. So this is a card of a win-win situation. Now, it was no wonder that darkness with the moon was coming out for the week from 8th to 15th because on October 15th this year we have a Scorpio new moon and that Scorpio new moon is asking you to go deeper so that's why this card was falling it's about going deep inside yourself being um, maybe doing some shadow work, looking at aspects that you didn't want to see or that you were shoving away from you for the entire year. So now it's time to have a look at that. And uh, what does that mean for a relationship or love? Well, if you're in a relationship, it could mean that you're deepening the relationship by looking at each other's shadows. Like sitting down and really admitting where you have done wrong to each other and where you can do better in the future. And this is not about accusations. This is more about exchanging what you have been feeling deep inside. Because the, the water, um, or let's not say the water, but the, the moon energy is always about the feelings, the hidden things, things that have been in the subconscious and not come uh, to consciousness yet. It could also be about things that you didn't dare to say. Maybe things that were not okay for you anymore and now it's time to get rid of that so it's the card is asking you to really be honest to yourself and to your partner if you have one um to say okay this and this which we have done in the past i cannot take it any longer we have to change something about it and here is my proposal on how we could change this in the future Let's take an example, maybe you were spending only very little time with each other and one of you has a problem with that. Then you could say, okay, my suggestion is that every week we are gonna take um, maybe a babysitter on Saturdays and we make only a couple times. So this, the Saturday evening is always only for us, even if it's only between eight and 10 p.m. But these two hours every week, they have to be for only us, where we don't talk about family, about kids, where we only talk about our relationship, our future, how we, or just spending, it doesn't even have to be talking, it can be just spending quality time with each other in silence. But definitely it, it should be about making a, not accusing or doing anything harmful, but rather making a suggestion which is practical, which is um, leading to a better outcome for both of you, um, which is basically something fruitful for the future. Okay, it's about setting a seed or an intention for the future. 
For those of you who are single, it could just mean that you get clear about what you really want and what you don't want anymore. Let's say you have left a, an old relationship behind you. You were getting clear about, okay, this has to, this has to end because I'm not treated well there or I don't feel good anymore in this relationship, so I have to let it go. Then you go deep inside yourself and you wonder, the next time when I'm in a relationship, where could I be, where could I maybe do something different or where could I see some red flags which I haven't been able to see before so that the same thing won't repeat again in my next relationship maybe something like this but it could also mean that you're enjoying your single time yeah and I'm gonna read now what it says about this card in the booklet Darkness. You are entering a time of introversion, a leaner time or a time to turn inward to plan and strategize. It is time to do shadow work which will bring you um, dividends later on. Release what no longer works for you. The darkness needs to be there as much as the light does. One of the earliest human fears is said to be a fear of the dark. We fear what we cannot see and we fear what may be hiding in the dark. In reality, the dark is important just as the light. In nature, there are many nocturnal animals that go about the business of living under the moon, not the sun. The darker times of the lunar and seasonal cycles signal a time to naturally turn inward, to stay close to home, to look closely at ourselves and our plans for the light. In the Northern Hemisphere, the long night moon usually occurred in December around the winter solstice. This is when the nights are indeed long and the hours of, sh of sunshine are short. It's cold and people would begin to be snowed in. It is during these long nights we can begin to do our shadow work, understanding the self-reflection needed to identify what isn't working for us and what might be causing us pain. This would be a bad habit, a destructive pattern, a re recurring useless fear or anything that holds us back from being the best we can be. Once we see these aspects of ourselves in the dark, we can simply decide whether they must go or not. We can decide to release them once and for all. We get to transform. So the stone that is recommended if you want to do any rituals with crystals is the onyx. Now, Leos, I'm absolutely amazed. We've got the strength, which is a major arcana, and it's not only any major arcana, it's our, the Leo major arcana. We've got the heart, the connection, the emotion with the Ace of Cups. <laughs> with the Ace of Cups, which is a new beginning. And we have the Six of Wands, with, which is a huge victory and success. So let's go through it slowly. This Strength card is talking about merging your vulnerable with your strong side. You are, uh, you're really shining in the leadership. You are doing what you can do best. And you are um, basically in a position of strength. You know your worth. You know that you deserve success because you have um, the skills to lead. It is your natural, um, your natural setting to lead. And you're also a compassionate leader. So you are not leading from up above thinking you are better than anyone else. No, you see people eye to eye and you uh, trust in the people that you hire if you are in a, the leader of a company. If not, then you are someone in this week who is very good at teamwork and of also being a little bit of the team leader. Yeah, so um, maybe just, even if it's just temporary, it doesn't have to be forever that you are in this leading position but in this week it might happen that you get a temporary leadership that someone says okay we're building a team now for this and that task which has to be run over the next three months and I want you Leo to do it then we have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is talking about love, emotion, about the heart chakra. So you can see that you have an open and tender heart. You're open for new things. As it is an Ace, it's talking about a new beginning and it's about conversation and meeting new people. That could be making new friends, getting new relationships, finding a new partner, um, maybe getting some networking for the job, meeting the right people to write applications 
conversations too. So it's a good week to talk to people, even if it's just online, even if you just attend an online Congress. There are so many online Congresses right now, especially um, because of what's going on in the world. So just take one of these free uh, Congresses online and see which people you meet, um, because uh, you can make good connections, which will be bring something fruitful for the future for you, okay? Then we have the Six of Wands. This is one of my absolute favorite cards. I mean, Leo is obviously standing on stage where he or she belongs. <laughs> And Leo is celebrated. You can really hear the audience screaming like, wow, <laughs> Leo, give us some more of that show. <laughs> so you bring home the prize, you bring home the victory, and it's about being seen and heard. So whatever you have created, maybe it's a, a podcast, people will go hear it. Maybe it's a video, people will go see it. Maybe you've been writing a book. Um, <laughs> a book? <laughs> and people will go read it. I'm not gonna cut this out. <laughs> so I think these are absolutely amazing cards. I mean, we have the strength, we have the victory, we have the love going on. Come on, how can it get any better? I mean, even our monthly reading for Leos was so positive already. And I think here in this week from the 8th to the 15th, we are really gonna shine. Oh my, oh my. <laughs> So Leo, I hope you liked it and you will be back next time. As I said, I'm happy about any like, share and comment. And of course, I'm happy if you subscribe. Thank you. Bye.